In this video, I'm going to show you how to use WISE to transfer money internationally. So the first thing we're going to do is open up an internet browser and type in WISE.com. Now make sure you're signed in to your WISE account. If you don't already have one of these, then you can go and create one for free. Now once you're on this homepage, select send under the welcome message and we first need to select how much money we want to send. So go and select the currency that you're going to be sending this money from. So I'm going to select Great British Pounds as I have a British bank account and then go and select the currency that you want your recipient to receive. So for example, if you're sending money to an American bank account, you might want the recipient to receive US dollars and then go and type out the amount that you want to send. So for example, if I go and send 50 pounds, you can see this is equal to $63. Now you may want to make sure this second currency amount is an exact figure. So rather than changing the top one, we can just change the bottom one. So if we wanted to make sure they receive $70, it's going to automatically change the amount of this top one. Then you need to scroll down and select how you want to send this payment. So click on the change button and there's a few different options available. So you can see the quickest ones are these top three here, which is bank transfer, debit card, credit card, and you also have the swift transfer, but this is slightly slower. So the easiest one to use and the one with the lowest fee as well is just the bank transfer. So that's the one that I'm going to select and you can see that this should arrive near enough instantly. If you want to schedule the payment as well, so you can click on the schedule button and you can set it so this payment will arrive on a certain date. Now I'm just going to leave this so it sends it instantly and if we click on total fees you can see how much we're being charged for this transaction. So once you're happy with all of this click on add recipient and if the recipient also has a WISE account then you can go and search for them using the WISE website. So you can search either by email address or phone number but I'm going to go back and you can also enter the recipient bank details. So that's the one that I'm going to select. Select who you're paying so it's either yourself, someone else or a business or charity. I'm going to select someone else and this is where you need to enter the recipient's details so first start by entering their email address and if you know the bank details of who you're trying to send this money to then you can fill out this information if you don't know the bank details you can uncheck this box and what this will do is send an email to the recipient and it will request the banking details from the recipient so because I know the details I'm going to check this box and then just go and enter the recipient's banking information now for some transactions you'll actually need to change this from ACH to swift depending on the bank that you're sending the money to so if you're sending money to someone outside of the us then you can use this swift option so that's the one that i'm going to be using to send my money internationally and then we can press confirm so now before you can send this money you may also need to verify your identity so you can do this by sending a link to your smartphone or you can select scan a qr code and then you can just scan this code using your mobile device and it's going to ask for some information such as your passport or driving license and this is just basically going to verify your account. So once you've verified your identity, you'll also need to select the reason why you're using WISE. So I'm just going to select paying for goods or services and press continue. Now answer how much money you expect to send using WISE. I'm going to select this one and press continue and select the reason why you're sending this money and press submit. So now here you'll get a breakdown of all of the money that you're going to be sending. So you can see here's the recipient details that we just entered and here's how much the recipient will be receiving and this is how much we're sending from our bank account. So once you're happy with all of this, scroll down and select continue to payment and now you'll need to link your bank account to go and actually send the payment. So just go and select your bank from the list and what you can actually do is use your mobile phone to scan this QR code and you can send the payment directly from your mobile device. Now as soon as you've done that, you can come back over to the WISE homepage and in the left hand side if you click on transactions you'll be able to see all of your recent transactions and it's really as simple as that guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next